go. But before you judge this man, you have to hear his story tonight. Asa Squavera has lived here for 23 years, paying taxes. The father of four U.S. citizens now. Fox 13's Deborah Bowden is live with us in Lakeland. Now we're a group trying to help this man stay in the country. And Deborah, this one goes right to the heart of the immigration issue. Living here, paying taxes, long time, and now this. Yeah, you're talking about the heart and soul of this issue, John. This is a family that really has a, a lot more in common with the rest of us than you probably even realize. They have the same hopes and dreams for their children, and they have many of the same struggles with one big difference. They are about to be split up. After tomorrow, Jesus Guevara may never see his family again, including his five young children. He said his kids come to his bed every night to lay down next to him, and they said, Dad, like, don't leave, don't, um, don't leave us, don't let them deport you. Like many, Guevara is undocumented. He came to the U.S. as a teenager more than 20 years ago. Since then, his supporters say he's been a model citizen. But a case of mistaken identity landed him on immigration's radar, and now he faces deportation as early as tomorrow. He himself, as soon as he's been paying taxes here for over 13 years, got everything documented that he's been paying. Uh, he's paid his house off, you know, he owns his own vehicle, he's been you know, uh, an excellent employee. You know, his, his employers are coming out vouching for him. You know, he's a good standing citizen in the, in the, in the church. Uh, they've come out and vouched for him. Everybody's stepping up. Up for him. Supporters call it a perfect example of just how broken the system really is. I have to get rid of the parent of this family who's been working, providing for them, doing everything he's supposed to do. The prime example of what should be a good citizen and tell him that you don't have the rights to do it. Outside Congressman Dennis Ross's office, Jesus, his family, and about a dozen others pray for a solution to the immigration problem. They pray for equality, for compassion, and they pray for a miracle. If he's forced to leave his wife and children, Jesus says he doesn't know how they'll survive. He's just, you know, that fear of leaving his children behind. Um, all he does is be, work here to be able to provide for them. He doesn't do any harm to anybody. He just works to be able to provide for his, for his children. And he just asks for ICE not to deport him because his children will be left alone. Well, Jesus does plan to turn himself in to immigration officials in Tampa tomorrow. In the meantime, folks who were here earlier, they say they will be here every night for the next 30 nights, holding vigil not only for Jesus and his family, but for so many others, John, who are in the very same situation. Back to you. All right, Deborah, thank you. Well, he is illegal. His children are not, however. We want to hear from you about this. Should Asus be allowed to stay in this country? Text yes or no to 94465. You'll get a text confirming your vote. Message and data rates may apply. And we'll have the results for you later in our broadcast here.